Hi, I'm Nona Melkonian with SFGov TV. I'm here to discuss Proposition A, a ballot measure which will be before the voters on Tuesday, November 5th. In January 2009, the city established the Retiree Healthcare Trust Fund to set aside money to pay for retiree healthcare costs, which are expected to substantially increase. A five-member trust fund board administers the fund, and the city and its employees make contributions to the fund. The trust board may not use these contributions to pay for retiree health care costs until January 1, 2020. To keep the trust fund from being depleted, Proposition A would allow the trust fund board to make payments towards city retiree health care costs from the fund only if the city's account balance in any fiscal year is fully funded, which means that it is large enough to pay for retiree health care costs as they are due. And if the city's retiree health care costs exceed 10% of the city's total payroll costs in a fiscal year, the controller, mayor, trust board, and a majority of the board of supervisors must agree to allow payments from the fund for that year. The payments are limited to no more than 10% of the city's account. Or, if the controller, mayor, trust board, and two-thirds of the board approve changes to these limits. This proposed charter amendment would allow other agencies to spend money in their fund accounts only if the agency's fund account is fully funded or two-thirds of the agency's governing board and a majority of the trust board approve. A yes vote means you want to change the charter to allow payments from the retiree health care trust fund only when it is fully funded or only under specified circumstances. A no vote means you do not want to make these changes. I'm here with Supervisor Mark Farrell from District 2 and a proponent of Proposition A. Welcome. Thanks for having me. We're also joined by Matthew Murphy, a community activist and opponent of the measure. Thank you both for being here. I'd like to start with Supervisor Farrell. Why do you believe this proposition is so important? I started working on Proposition A about nine months ago when our city controller came out with a report that we had a $4.4 billion unfunded retiree health care liability here in San Francisco. How does that affect our city? It's really in two ways. Number one, we have retirees who worked long and hard for the city and county of San Francisco and current city workers that are very fearful that their health care will not be provided for when they retire. And that's something we want to very much avoid and fight against here in the city of San Francisco. We want to make sure our seniors have their health care provided for and they're secure in the fact that it will be there for them in the future. Second of all, it costs our city hundreds of millions of dollars a year out of our annual fund. This year alone, as chair of our budget and finance committee, I can tell you it cost us $150 million for retiree health care benefits. That number is going to grow to $500 million a year over the next 20 years if we don't do anything about it. So Proposition A does a few things. Number one, it makes sure that our city's retirees and their health care is provided for in the future. In 30 years, our $4.5 billion liability will be wiped off the books. From a financial perspective, we will save hundreds of millions of dollars a year out of our general fund, going from paying approximately $500 million a year to $50 million a year for retiree health care benefits. And those hundreds of millions of dollars of savings will go towards neighborhood services and other things that our city wants to provide. And lastly, it makes sure that we set ourselves on a course of financial discipline here in San Francisco. It's something that everyone's supporting and something I'm very proud to be part of. Thank you. Mr. Murphy, would you like to speak for the opposition? Uh, yes, thank you. Um, first of all, thanks for having me here and thanks, Supervisor, for, for coming out. It's uh, quite impressive that you're here to discuss this with us. Uh, so, as the Supervisor points out, the city has a big hole in its retiree health care budget. Um, a hole about half the size of the last budget we passed, uh, which is pretty significant. Now, Proposition A requires the city to set aside money to fund retiree health care. And I think we can both agree that that's not so much a bad thing. Uh, the idea that we can just promise things to retirees and then punt on paying for it is, you know, obviously not a responsible concept and not something I would endorse. Uh, however, Proposition A punts on the hard choices that are associated with paying for a four plus billion dollar retiree health care liability. Um, you have to pull that money from somewhere and Proposition A puts the city and its voters on the hook uh, for paying for that obligation in a way that's very unusual by putting a funding requirement in the charter but it doesn't tell us anything about where that money will come from. There have to be 
taxes or program cuts or something in the meantime to come up with that money. It isn't going to just appear out of thin air. Um, so the question I would then pose, of course, that, that Proposition A leaves unanswered is that um, where's the money going to come from? And until we know that, we shouldn't put ourselves on the hook for it. Thank you. Supervisor Farrell, would you like to respond? Sure. It's a, it's a great question, Mr. Murphy. Um, the money isn't coming out of thin air. The money comes from Proposition B that the voters of San Francisco passed in 2008, which mandates that the new city workers as of 2009 contribute 2% 2 of their salaries into the retiree health care trust fund. And also the city, per Proposition B in 2008, matches that with 1%. So for new city employees that started as of January 2009, 3% of their gross salaries are being saved into the Retiree Health Care Trust Fund. That's the sole source of where this money is coming from. It's not coming from taxpayers here in San Francisco. It's purely coming from city employees for the city and county of San Francisco. Thank you. Mr. Murphy, would you like to respond? Uh, sure. So one of the troubling points of Proposition A is there's a catch-all in the amendment that if the contributions of the employee and the planned contribution by the city are insufficient to meet the requirements of the trust fund, the city is on the hook for the remaining balance, uh, which means that in practical terms we'd have to cut from somewhere else. Or, or raise taxes somewhere else. And the picture of retiree health care where we can fund retiree health care on only 3% of people's annual salaries is, to put it kindly, a little rosy. Uh, it's, it's not something that we can really bet on with health care costs and benefits costs rising at you know 3 and 4%. Uh, salaries rising at three and four percent rather and health care and benefits costs rising in around the ten percent range nationally. Uh, it's far greater than the pace of inflation and greater than the rate of these contributions. Thank you. So we have a little time left and I'd like to close the program with a comment from each of you. Um, Supervisor Farrell. Thank you. You know when I started working on Proposition 8 it was very important for me that it be a consensus measure in, here in San Francisco. I made sure that we sat down in the beginning with our business community, our labor community, and our retiree community. And it has become exactly that, a consensus measure. Proud to say that we have the support of not only Mayor Lee, every member of the Board of Supervisors, the Democratic Party here in San Francisco, the Republican Party here in San Francisco, a host of neighborhood groups throughout our city, um, as well as both the Alice B. Toklas Club, the Harvey Milk Club, and every single other elected official in San Francisco. And this is building on Proposition C, which was pension reform we passed in 2011. And if we can pass Proposition A this year, we will be the only city in the United States to have passed pension reform and retiree health care reform at the ballot and something we should be very proud of as a city. Thank you. Mr. Murphy? So there are promises and there are commitments. Uh, one of the pieces of language on the ballot is about commitments to our retirees and, and our promises for their health care. So setting aside in law that the money will be there is still just a promise. Uh, until we actually commit the amount of money that we're going to need to commit to make these obligations work, it's still just a promise. The, the commitment comes when you put the resources down and you put the effort on the table to really make retiree health care secure. The promise for our retirees is nice, but we have to figure out how we're going to deliver on it. And the funds that are available so far from the measures that the supervisor cites are, again, a nice promise, but they aren't going to be able to meet the commitment. And before we pass something like Proposition A that puts us on the hook for that commitment, we should know where those resources are going to come from. Thank you. We hope that this discussion has been informative. For more information on this and other ballot measures in this year's election, please visit the San Francisco Election Department's website at sfelections.org. Remember, early voting is available at City Hall Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you don't vote early, be sure to vote on November 5th.